Hi, this video is to show you how to do payment of or customer payment using SQL Sync Lite integration. We will consider that the marketplace will pay you the full amount of the order and the deductions from the marketplace such as service charge, transaction charge and commission, they are to be deducted manually as a cash journal from SQL accounting. So for this demo, I'll show you how to download the payment file from Lazada Seller Center and how to import it into our site Giant Lite. So first of all, we'll need to log in to our Seller Center, click on Finance, select Account Statements, and click into Transaction Overview. From here, you can select the date range. For demo purposes, I'll select the 1st of June until the end of June. Click on Search. Once done, you can click on Export. So from here, we can wait for the status to show finish and then we will need to download the file. Once the file is downloaded, we can now go back to our site Giant Lite. From site Giant Lite, click into this app here, select your company profile, click on done. And once you are directed to the main page of SQL Sync, you can click on the three dots button on the top, select import, select the channel that you want to do customer payment for and click on import. So from here, I'll select the file and click open and click on next and if there is no error can click on proceed and the system will upload all the transactions into your system now let's go back to the main page of sql sync and click on customer payment from here we can directly click on add new and select back the channel that we imported the payment file earlier so once you have selected the channel, you're able to see all the transactions that are in the payment file and the transactions that you have synced into SQL accounting before, all of them will be showing up here. So from here, you'll need to tick all these orders, assuming all of them you have received the payment. From here, you'll need to enter the paid amount. Okay, make sure that the unapplied amount goes to zero. So once done, you can click on sync. And then the system will pass this customer payment as a task into your SQL Sync Lite. So from here, we'll need to go into our SQL Sync Lite application. If your SQL Sync Lite application doesn't have any task yet, you can click Ctrl R to refresh the page. So from here, we can see that one task has been synced in. Select the task and click Sync. And the system will then transfer all details into your SQL accounting. Click on done. So once done, we can open up our SQL accounting. Go into customer, select customer payment and you will be able to see the customer payment that we sync over earlier. From here, double click, go into it and then you can copy the OR number and then you can go back into your site Giant Light and click on customer payment and you can see this transaction that we sync in earlier, the customer payment, paste in the OR number and click on save. This is the method that we use to do customer payment.